Red Brown was waiting to get on the sheriff's department and working as a bouncer at a bar in Pasadena called the Handlebar Saloon. An agent who had a client at the nearby ice house came in and saw Brown there while Reb was in the middle of throwing two people out. Reb had one in each hand and was banging them together to throw them out the door. The agent asked Brown, hey kid, do you want to be an actor? Brown said just a moment and continued what he was doing. Brown came back in and said, I don't know. I don't know what to do. The agent said, that'll work. Brown was on the sheriff's department for a period of time and then ended up doing a film called S with Dirk Bennett Dick and Heather Menzies. The movie needed a football player that was kind of a big guy and could play a jerk. Brown went in and read at Universal, did a test for him, and he got the job that day. He had a job, and that's how he got involved. Red Brown, born Robert Edward Brown, born April 29, 1948, is an American former football player and actor. Brown is perhaps best known for playing the lead in the television film Captain America in the action war film Uncommon Valor. He is also known for the 1983 cult classic You're the Hunter from the Future. Regarded as a classic B-movie, as well as a sci-fi film Space Mutiny, and for the collaborations with director Bruno Mattei in films such as Strike Commando and Robo War. Brown's father was a policeman who had also been a singer. He grew up in the Los Angeles area and played football at the Temple City High School. After graduating in 1966, he received a scholarship to play fullback at the University of Southern California during the 1967 season. He ended up losing the starting running back position to another student, O.J. Simpson, and Brown decided to transfer to another college in the Los Angeles area. Brown's acting career started in 1973, uh, which he appeared in The Girl Most Likely to and when he began acting. There was already a Robert Brown in the Screen Actors Guild, so he took his initial rev as the first name for acting. He later appeared in guest starring roles in several Universal Studio produced television series, including Emergency, Marcus Welby, Kojak, The Eddie Capra Mysteries, and The Rockford Files. He also appeared as a rebel, a southern boy who had a fight with Ralph Mouth in Happy Days, and played Jim Bridger in the all star miniseries Centennial. Also appeared in Three's Company as Elmo, a date for Chrissy's show. He also played Captain America in two made-for-TV films, Captain America and Captain America 2, Death Too Soon. During the 1970s, part of the same development deal that yielded the Lou Fregna vehicle, The Incredible Hulk. In the film Big Wednesday, Brown played the role of the Enforcer. He landed the supporting role of only starting white member as a freshman of the team in the college basketball comedy Fast Break, starring Gabe Kaplan. In Paul Schrader's 1979 film Hardcore, he played a bouncer in a neon-lit sex shop who throws George C. Scott into the street after Scott's character becomes rowdy. In 1983, Brown landed a role in the cult film classic Yore, the Hunter from the Future, as well as, as Blaster, a Vietnam veteran character who trains with other vets in a POW rescue operation in a common valor. Critical acclaim for Brown came in 1986 Australian film Death of Soldier, which is based on a true story starring James Coburn. Brown received a nomination for Best Lead Actor in a Dramatic Role by Australian Film Institute for portrayal of serial killer Private Edward Leonsky. Brown later starred with Lou Fregno playing Vietnam War veteran buddies in a pair of action films Cage and Cage 2. Brown also appeared in Bruno Mattei's Strike Commando and Robo War. Brown has continued his career moving between television feature films. He is perhaps best known for portraying the main characters in 1988's Space Mutiny, which was lambasted in an episode of Mystery Science Theater of 3000. He appeared in the third season of Mommy Vice episode, Viking Bikers from Hell, in which he played a sociopathic biker avenging his buddy's recent death. After not appearing in screen in 18 years, Brown co-starred in 2012 in Night Claws. Now, of course, he's best remembered to me as Captain America when I was a kid. I remember the motorbike, I remember the helmet, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Who's your daddy? Be the envy of your friends. Wear the sexy cosplay t-shirt. Wear it on a podcast. Wear it to convention. It's comfortable. Heck, even sleep in it.
Your girlfriend will love it. You will love it. Click on the link below and get your sexy cosplay t-shirt shipped to you. (laughs) 